Hi, this is Theo from Pocketblocks.com. Someone asked me recently to review this stylus called the Pencil. It's made by this company called 53. This is a stylus made for iPad and the iPhone users. So um, let's test it out. This is actually a Bluetooth stylus, but you don't need to have Bluetooth in order to use it. So you can still use it on, let's say your Android phone. But to get the special feature of this stylus, it is best to use it with the app called Paper, which is also made by the company 53. This is a very beautiful design. I like the look of this stylus. This particular version features walnut body. There are two other versions. One is the gold color and the other one is the graphite. It comes with a rubber tip at the top front and at the end. The end simulates the eraser and the front of course the drawing point. The rubber tip at the front is actually quite big but there is actually a purpose for that. Let me just show you right now. Um, in order to use the special features, you have to pair it with the drawing app first. There's this little pen pencil icon here. You just press it down. It will turn and after a few seconds it will pair and light up. So once it lights up, you can get all the features such as, for example, when you're drawing normally with the pen tool, which is this fountain pen tool, you get a stroke like this. But if you tilt it down, you can get a thicker stroke. Now if you vary your angle, you can get a thin to thick stroke. It does take a bit of a practice, so um, you can get the variation that you want. Note that this is not pressure sensitive, so the thickness of the stroke actually depends on the angle you're holding the stylus. So if you hold the stylus on the side like this, it's going to give you a thick stroke. If you hold it down like this, then it's going to have a thin stroke. You can also vary the thickness of the stroke by the speed. For example, if you want something thick, you just draw it quick. If you want it to taper to the thin, you just draw fast and then slow down, it will go thin. Let's try the other one, the pencil too. For the pencil, same thing. If you use the tip, you're going to get a thin line. If you use the side of the pencil, you're going to get a thick stroke, as if you're using a real pencil on the side. And if you want to get strokes varying of varying thickness, just do, just vary the angle at which you are going down and up and down. So it's quite fun. You can use this to draw something, for example, and then you can use the side to shade whatever there is inside. Oops. It does take a bit of a practice as well. You can use both sides. You can swap around and use both sides of the pencil. Oh, uh, while using the pencil, of course, I want to talk about the eraser. The eraser at the back is rectangular in shape. So you can use the narrow side to erase a narrow um, section. But if you use the longer side here, you can erase a much bigger area. So it's really very cool. Let's try another two. This is the brush marker two. Same thing, using the tip you get a uniform stroke. And using the side, you can get a thick stroke. And thin to thick, thin. Let's try this. This is a ballpoint pen. Ballpoint pen, unfortunately, there's only one thickness, which is thin. Nothing to, nothing much to talk about. And the last one is a watercolor brush. So for watercolor brush, same thing. You can just use the side for a flatter wash. I'm still trying to get the hang of it. This is not a brush that, not a tool that I use quite often. So you can layer on different colors using the side of the brush. 
I mean the pencil. The last feature I want to show you is palm rejection. So let me choose the pen tool and turn down the toolbar and put my palm on the glass surface and try drawing something. So palm rejection works um, well enough but it's not perfect in the sense that sometimes when you're drawing especially for me I'm right-handed so sometimes I might touch the done button here and when you touch the done button something happens like that so um, it can be quite irritating so when I'm drawing I have to be very careful to avoid the, the toolbar at the bottom also sometimes when I'm drawing I might accidentally engage things like moving to the finger gestures or the zooming zooming in gestures those are some of the things that affect palm rejection and this is while the stylus is paired with the drawing app now if I turn off the stylus there will be no palm rejection so you can draw with your finger but if I turn on the stylus you can use your fingers to blend the artwork to give it a blur effect and also if you are drawing let's say if you are drawing something you might want to check whether your palm is causing this blur effect uh, at other sections of your artwork so that can be a bit irritating at times but usually it works now to get the best out of palm rejection you should be using this tool here which is called the pen tool for well taking notes overall this is a really fun stylus to use I really love the features of this drawing app that is called paper right now I'm drawing my watercolor box so you can zoom in as well for the close-up for the details and stuff like that and there are many wonderful tools when paired together with this stylus it gives you many many interesting features like the you can vary the thickness of the stroke which is really quite fun so for instance I want to use the brush to maybe color this section here I can do so or maybe I want to use the side to color I can do so as well or pencil I can use the pencil to shade maybe the background here just to cover a big area in as short an amount of time as possible the rubber tape will get worn out uh, of course if you draw very frequently so 53 the company actually sells the rubber tips the front and the back separately um, you can just buy them if your rubber tape happens to wear out I think mine is about to wear out one thing I forgot to mention is the battery it comes with an inbuilt battery so you just pull out the rubber tape from the front to review the USB connector you can plug it into any USB port to charge charge about 90 minutes and it will give you a few weeks of power to use uh, very nice Overall, this is a very fun stylus to use, much more fun compared to Adonit or Wacom styluses. So even though it doesn't have any pressure sensitivity, it can simulate that by the angle at which you are using the stylus. So for me, if I'm using a watercolor brush or I'm using a fountain pen, I will vary the angle of the brush or the pen to get a different thickness in terms of the stroke. Now you can do that with this stylus as well. This is best used with the paper app also by the same company I really love that app because of all the tools they have their own very unique look and it's very easy to use that's all for my review today if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section below I will answer them and if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel do so for more sketching tips and techniques art product reviews sketchbook features and more thanks for watching and have a nice day see you in the next video bye